All right, guys, I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's an absolutely beautiful day for a little bit of destruction. Guys, got the old puppy dog fired up this morning. It was, uh, it don't look like it out here, but it's actually a little bit cool this morning. So, uh, got a little bit of a low tire there, I think. All right, one tire needs there. Got her warmed up this morning. Checked oil, got her warmed up and got her rolling. And uh, we got the 140 loaded up, getting ready to head into town. And uh, we get the easy part, man. We get this is gonna be an awesome little job. Got a buddy got a job tearing down a house and uh, he just needs us to put it on the ground because he wants to rent some smaller equipment to clean up the mess save him some trouble so we're just gonna show up knock her down load up and haul out the best part is you guys get to watch so we throw a little bit of air in that tire we'll hit the road that hose reel i put on this truck is one of the handiest One of the handiest features. The hose is just long enough to reach the back of the trailer. And it is super, super, super handy. Now I just gotta find the air jack. Right where I left it. Stalling air. It's not real low. I'd say by the kick test, it's about 65 or 70. So we'll throw 20, 30 pounds in it and roll on out of here oh yes that should do the trick get our valve cap cover back on put that back in the toolbox so we don't lose it let's go roll our hose up hit the road Do one handed. Come on. Sitting here bragging on the hose rail, now it won't roll up. The good news is it hasn't been used in a while. We got a little bit of rust in it. Let's roll. Check that out, I even got a Pepsi in reserve. It's gonna be a good day, folks. It's going to be a good day. Where it's at. I definitely don't want to tear down. 
down the wrong wells. That would not be good. It's here. Oh, right there it is. See the big ugly one right there? Oh, I think that's the winner. Oh, I think that's it. I do think that's it right there. All right, let's hop out here and see what we got. Is this the right house? Yeah, this is the right house. That's good, because we don't want to be like the people in Texas that tore down the wrong house. Go ahead, Matt. So you're going to explain to the world what we're doing here? I'm tearing a house down for a guy here and his wife. It's an old house. Nobody lives in it. He's so here's what I'm really asking. Why do you need me? Because you got the uh, long stick. I didn't, bring the long, I didn't bring the long stick. You got the bigger track though, so I'm having you do it. <laughs> All right, so first off, you've been on the channel many a times. A few times. Have we ever covered the full uh, history between me and you? No, I don't think. A little, off so and we, on. We've known each other for a long time. Right. You're, you, you're the crazy truck driver. You deliver the rock, you deliver the sand, you help stack the basement. I still want to give you credit for being the first person that ever employed you. Yeah, he is. And, and the you, first person probably have to go to the doctor. First, he was also my first workman's <laughs> comp claim. <laughs> Fifteen minutes on the job. <laughs> went to so, the ER. Or the doctor's, the doctor's office. office. Yeah, I'd get stitches. Finger. He about cut his thumb off. What, what, what finger was it? You still got the scar? You still do still got the scar. All right, rule number one. Don't let Chris have a razor knife. So here's kind of the thing. You've tore down. I've helped you walk you through a few houses. I'm going to give you credit on this. You didn't feel comfortable tearing this one down because of the proximity to the neighbor's house. That's right. So you asked me if I'd come in and help you just get it on the ground. That's right. So you know what we're going to do on this video? We're going to go step by step how to safely get this house on the ground. That's good. So that way next time you won't even need me. <clears throat> I think I just talked myself out of a job. <laughs> no. All right. Well, we got a ritual here on Dirt Perfect, Chris. We can't tear this thing down until we take a tour of it. You got the key? It's unlocked, ain't it? Yeah, it's unlocked. Yeah, the back's unlocked. Back's unlocked? Did the Smurfs live here? Yeah, back in the day. Pretty blue. Uh, oh, look at the hot tub. Yeah, it's for sale. It's for sale? Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you I know a dumpster that'll take it. Yeah. All right, walk it in. You go first. I'll back. I feel like I'm safe because I'm pretty confident I can run faster than you. Yeah. Uh, Chris, we probably just could have used this door here. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't know if we really needed that door. Well, it's alright. Hey, you need a fan? Almost brand new. <laughs> Slightly used. I think by the time this video airs, that thing's gonna probably be a hundred feet under. What's a hundred? I bet your wife would like it. I bet she would. I bet it'd match your new furniture. I like your I like your thought, but I don't think it's gonna happen. So see if you're bidding this house, Chris, one of the first things you gotta notice when you walk in here is it's got plaster on the walls. You know what that means? Heavy. About ten percent heavier than a normal house. Second thing you gotta look at is this here is actually um rough saw lumber. So it's heavy. Well it's heavier, but you know what the other part of that is? It's, it's harder to break. It's harder to break, so you end up with more voids in your dumpster, so you don't get as much per box. So those things come into play. Now, to offset all that, somebody's already been here and did a bunch of gutting. There ain't nothing on the ceiling. Was what was their intentions on this? To uh, remodel it, and then they gave up on it? Well, the guy that owns it was renting it out, and the guy that was renting it was going to fix it up to live here a lot longer, and uh, it was a... POS. Junk. Dump. I'd say, what's your guess? I'd say this house was probably built in the 60s? 68. 68? Yeah, I think that's what he said. 68 or 70. And all these old houses were the so similar. But you can see this house has got a tremendous amount of foundation issues. The whole front wall, I don't know, what would you say? It probably got a six inch sag here in the middle? Six to eight. It, well, <laughs> Floor starting to cave in. Yeah, floor's caving in. Somebody's definitely had some pets in here. Whole wall's collapsing over there. Here's what I was talking about with that. You can see the plaster right here. It's got any layers. 
how many layers they got on the wall. You know, a normal house would just have a half inch sheet of drywall right there, which is real light. It's got a heavy stud, you got a lad, you got plaster, you got some sort of thick paneling, and you got fan paneling on it. She's gonna put up a little bit of a fight. Oh, I see you opened the front door for us. So nice of you. Check this out. This is brand new wood. Oh, somebody fed this house with the termites. <laughs> <laughs> Got a nice, uh, this room here. And if you just looked at this room here, you'd be like, nice. mirror, mirror on the wall. Don't break it. That's seven years of bad luck. This is crazy here, Chris. Could you, you know how far, you know how illegal that is to put a door halfway up a set of steps now? I did though. Years, like back years, then, years. I was just common, but nowadays that's like uh, so far against code you'd go to jail. Was it like 54 inches? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're getting back to the 60s up here. Oh, yeah. Man, they got mirrors everywhere in this place. Wave. Hey, the guy was a Trump. He was a Trump supporter. Got that going for him. Oh, it's hey, this is from the 80s. 80s Nirvana. That's probably worth 50 cents. That's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see. The whole house is settled probably a foot. And the chimney must be on one heck of a foundation because it's still. <laughs> 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 I think the chimney's holding the whole house up. Don't touch it, it'll fall down. There's pretty good indication of how much that front wall has uh, settled right there. Crazy. Yeah. You know the problem with that uh, is? It's a nice little hardwood floor, but it's not nice enough worth the effort to pull it up. No. Like if it was sitting on a pallet somewhere, it'd be worth something, but. I don't got time. Yep. More the patience. Time's money. Time is money. All right, let's go outside, scope this thing out, and uh, get a plan on how we're gonna go about, uh, how we're gonna go about doing this. What is that? I don't know where that was picture was taken at. What do you, what'd you find there? I don't know, it's a nice No, picture. this. Oh, I got a uh, friend that I'm gonna get ready to give this to. It's a Dirt Perfect, it's a cup. Look at that. 50,000 subscribers. I don't know if I'm more flattered you called me a friend or you got me a cup. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That is cool. Try to do your green yeah. semi and the mud, dirt. Did you ever dream I'd be at 50,000 subscribers? I never did. No, I never did figure you'd be on YouTube at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go outside and get a plane. If I can get down these steps without killing myself. Oh, these are brand new. Watch your head. Brand new steps. You don't have the front or the back. All right, Chris, step one, taking the house down. What do we need to do? Get the track off the trailer That's first. step. That's probably step five, maybe six. Oh, step one, you gotta call all your locates in. But that, well, actually, I was gonna skip that step, but you are correct, you have called all the locates in. They are here, we got the okay from the sewer, okay from the, is that uh, red is the electric company, and then the water line there is marked. Uh, step two is you gotta get your demo permit. Yeah, I got that. So we're good there. All right, step three, we need to walk around this thing and assess, assess what we're going to do. So we got a few, a few dangers we gotta be aware of. One of them, we got power lines right up here, you see them? They shouldn't be in our way, but we need to know they're there. You need to know they're there more than me whenever you go to load out trucks. Right. Two, we got quite a bit of clearance between this house and the neighbors and the same on the other side, but they're not far enough away, they're completely out of the danger zone. So whenever you tear down a house like this, Chris, there's a couple things you gotta worry about. Chimneys. We'll get you in trouble. That gable wall right there, that is most likely what's going to fall out of there and cause trouble. Because whenever you start knocking that roof down, it wants to squeeze it out. A lot of times, you need to knock a little bit of it down and then get it folded up in the house so it can't get away from you. Right. So that's what we got to really pay attention to is that gable wall. 
what we got on this side? Same thing, another chimney. It's actually another on this side. Yep. Yep, that chimney right there, that needs to be the first thing we address because if we bump that house and shake it, it ends up over on the neighbor's house and we don't want to make the neighbors mad this morning. No, not on Sunday. <laughs> Especially not on Sunday. So we'll probably do the same thing on this. I think my plan of attack is, now Chris, and I go tear these houses down, you don't know how they're built and how structured they sound. They are. We've seen all the termite damage in the front, right? Right. So I'm probably gonna start right here in the middle. I'm probably gonna start caving into this side and I'm gonna see how that gable wall falls in because I got a lot more room over here. And then once I see how this one behaves, I'll know what to expect over on that right. side. So our ultimate goal is, is to keep this whole house within the footprint of the house itself. So it's a lot easier to clean up. Clean up a lot easier. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that on this one because I'm just knocking the house down, you're loading it up and you need to be able to manage it with your equipment. So we may end up spread outside the footprint a little bit, but let's walk on around, check out the rest of her. You gotta make a full trip around. Back half of this house, house is gonna be pretty simple, pretty easy and straightforward. Be about like the one in Counting. Yeah, we did tear one in Counting down, didn't we? Yep. All the, uh, just kind of confirming all the utilities are disconnected. That all looks good. There's the gas line there. It's been terminated. Um, here's an important question. What do we got? Basement? Nope. We got something. Nope. Crawl space. Because that'll, that'll kind of determine how much we can walk up on the pile and not have to worry about falling through, going down through it. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes, especially in town like this, you got to worry. You can see they'll have the uh, phone line and they'll go from this house to the neighbor's house. Yeah. Last thing you want to do is pull a siding off the neighbor's house. So always got to make a full walk around her. Got to try to save the bush too. Save the bush? Yeah. Well, that's useful information. I just figured I'd let you know now. <laughs> Yeah. Try to save it. That's much more useful information now than after I covered it with debris. Yeah, I told you. Oh. All right, I think we're up to like step 15. You ready to get the track going, loading? Yeah, let's go. I got a stinking hydraulic leak there somewhere. I can't tell if it's the uh, coupler or the fitting right there. I don't know how much you follow me on YouTube, but me and this thumb are like best friends. Like we get along like this. Yeah, you say you like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, let me tell you. I was going to bring the other machine, but it's tied up on another job. All right. In we go. Let this thing get warmed up a little bit. We'll walk her down off air and tie into this old beast. She's a beaut, Clark. All right, guys, first things first. I'm going to address this chimney so we don't have to worry about it getting over into the neighbor's house. I think, I think I'm just gonna knock it over onto the roof. That'll work. Now I need to get the rest of that down. Should be able to stick my bucket in the top of it. Perfect. It's all on this property. 
property up and hit the neighbor's house everything's good so now we're going to back up here and we're going to tie into the uh front porch here go ahead and get it folded up i'm just going to knock the poles out from underneath it and let it go straight down them all the way out that way uh if it does fall down it'll fall fall down on there i gotta watch that uh i'm gonna hit that cylinder up around that thing i to get this one out of there and now i'm just kidding i'll walk over and get that other pole because i don't quite trust it I don't want it to kick out. Right over here. Bring that into us. Perfect. Alright, so chimney is safely down porch is safely down i'm going to rearrange that stuff so i can kind of walk up in there a little bit we're going to try to take a slice of it basically those two windows are out because those windows are out we should be able to slice it pretty easy see if we can fold that in wall in we'll see how that goes then we'll do the same thing over here it's just that simple chris it's just that simple i say that i'm end up getting cocky and get in trouble here in a minute but all right let's clean up this porch i want to get this kind of uh sorted out so I got ample room to work because I'm going to have to get pretty close to the structure to reach what I want to reach up there. So uh, we'll get that sorted around a little bit and then we'll go for it. All right, guys, I'm doing something here I normally wouldn't do. I'm kind of shuffling the debris from one side of the porch to the other. Uh, once I get this side here knocked down, then I'll probably shuffle that back over here where I'm at now. But we do have one more chimney. You guys remember that chimney? It's right in the middle of the house. So I need to keep an eye on it. But it's just like working in your workshop. Same thing with an excavator. You gotta make sure you got a good clean footing underneath you. You need to make sure you can do what you need to do pretty comfortably. And if you need to move fast, you need to be able to do that. So let's uh, take a slice out of this house and see what we got. Alright guys, basically what I'm trying to do here is just start at the top, work my way down. I'm cleaning out back behind that gable wall and then trying to bring it down. You'll see right here, I uh, got a little uh, got a little aggressive there and knocked the floor out between the first and second level. I should have held off on that a little bit and uh, got, uh, got more of this gable wall down. But by doing that, you can see I could cave that wall into the structure instead of out into the yard. 
Uh, I just did that a little quicker than what I should have. What I was trying to do here is give me enough room to get the machine close enough as uh, Chris pans back with the camera here. You'll see I still got a little bit of the uh, roof hanging out up there. I wanted to be able to get a hold of that with my bucket and do more than just knock it down, actually control it on its way down. So uh, I'll change my system up. That's one of those things you kind of learn. I'll change my system up here a little bit as we move in, move on to the other side because we don't quite have as much room to uh, go. So there's, there's kind of what I'm talking about as far as taking that gable wall in. Then once I take that gable wall in, I can bring that roof down the same hole. Now doing this, you really got to protect your machine and watch all your hoses and your cylinders because you're reaching up underneath stuff. So um, be, be careful when you go to uh, go to make those maneuvers there. But just wanted to explain that a little bit. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys and we'll uh, head back to your regu regular scheduled programming here. doing the same thing here, just getting this stuff shuffling from one side of the porch to the other. That way I can get in there and comfortably work. I do got a new obstacle over there on the other side. It's the water meter, so I gotta gotta watch out for that. And I got a chimney up there. I just can't quite reach. And it's brick and it's shaking, so it's gonna fall down. It's not gonna reach anything and hurt anything. I just don't want to be directly below it when it does. I want to be to the left and the right of it so no bricks roll down on me. So I'm going to kind of keep an eye on that as well. But uh, so far, so good. Let me get reset here and we'll do this again. I know you guys can't see up there, but I'm gonna try my best to knock that chimney off. I think I can reach it. That way I ain't gotta worry about it coming down on my head later. And knock her down the back side of the house. There we go. Makes you rolled all the way down from the sound of it. All right, we got ourselves uh, resituated and rearranged here, so we're gonna dissect side number two. Alright guys, side two, basically gotta do the same thing. Ideally I'd like to be over there and push everything in, but I can't get in the neighbor's yard. So I kinda gotta get myself a hole. So I can pull everything to me. Pretty sure if I wanted to, I'd probably pull this whole house over on top of it. I don't want to do that. We're gonna kinda meticulously pick our way down through here. Come on. Stupid ball low in the boom configuration. There we go. Got through the roof. Maybe that wall in on it now. One thing I do though is there's a wall right there in the center of the house, so I can tear down both sides and pretty much leave. Leave that if I need, so that's kind of my goal at this point. I am going to do though is I'm going to leave that floor a little bit longer than what I did on the other side. I'm going to try to take this wall to the smaller piece. So. Oh, that was a nice swing right there. That was a whole run. That was nice. Slide that all back in there so we got room to work again. Alright, so we're going on up. Give me a piece of roof now. Should be able to kind of pull that at an angle. Well, that'll pull the whole house down on that. Should be alright. Alright. 
I don't like the way that looks. So I'm going to come in and take a swing here. Get that kicked over a little farther. There. That looks a little bit better. Reach on back in there. Now watch how he's doing this. There we go. Throwing her up like a top. What's that? About foot. Right. The neighbor's house is completely out of the danger zone, but they are definitely breathing a sigh of relief over there. I'll tell you that. Got one big section of roof up there. We gotta watch to make sure which way it falls, but this is getting pretty rickety right here, so I think we're gonna go ahead and take her down. Go to the other side. What I'm going to try to do is push this in the corner. I'm hoping it kind of rotates and falls over that way. So let's see what happens. I should put it towards our pile of debris and away from the neighbor's house as close. section of roof up there. Come here, baby. Come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's like a crop top house. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, uh, so far everything's going as planned. We're gonna check out, see what we got inside. Very energy efficient right now. It's like a convertible house. There really wasn't a lot of insulation in it. No, they had some uh, cellulose blown up there on top. That room there looks um, a little full of debris there. Man, look at that. Look at that termite damage. Wowzers. Them things will absolutely destroy a house, won't they? That is crazy. Nice. You know what's weird? It's like this room right here. It's like we haven't even started tearing a house down yet and the whole top's gone. It's got a little bit of debris on the steps. Guess what though? It's about to change. <laughs> Let's 
All right, I don't see anything too alarming in here. You ready to knock rest over now? All right, Chris, let's get the rest of this section here caved in and thrown over. And then uh, I don't know if I'm gonna sit on top of the pile or walk around back to get the rest, but we'll uh, to be determined. You ready? Y'all let me tear the bike down. Yeah. All right, here we go. I think I'm gonna try and knock this front wall in and just cave out roof that ceiling down on top of it. Hopefully I can do that without that far wall getting me any trouble. So in we go. No knock! Uh -oh. Wait, got like three like three roofs on it. Or three ceilings that have been remodeled a few times. Well, there she is. We got that section down. Now we, I'm gonna call this a lean-to addition back here. It may be original to the house, but it definitely shares separate structure. They had a common wall there in the middle, which is still standing. Since they wanna save this bush, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna walk my way uh, straight up, up onto the debris pile there, probably grab this, toss it that way, and then knock down what's left right into the hole where it sits, so. It's looking good. You follow all that? Yeah. Found my camera. Well, at least you found that one, and unlike the uh, this hog one. Yeah, that one's going. All right, guys, hang on, we're going in. We're going in.
guys, we just about, we just about have them. We are down to the last little section here. Get this cave in on top itself, get her cleaned up. Oh, well, Chris, there she is. It's good. What do you think, sir? It's good. Think you can get her from there? We uh, we broke a limb or two on the rose bush. Trimmed it down a little bit. But none of the neighbor properties are damaged. You Home should be able to. Happy. Homeowners happy. You should be able to safely get that loaded out. You got this right. I got all the faith in the world in you, Mr. Raiders. But no, everything went pretty smooth. I ended up walking up there on top of the pile, reaching over and getting this. So I didn't have to really destroy a whole lot more of the yard than what I needed to. We got most of the pile moved towards the front to where he can sit right there, grab it, do what he needs, do what he needs to do pretty, pretty easy. I got some of the concrete tossed over here. So uh, I think we're gonna load up and head on out. That's pretty much a wrap for Well guys, that's going to be a wrap on this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And as always guys, we shall catch you on the next one.